quiz that I have to do. I have to finish this before 5 p.m., which means I have 45 minutes before this is due. Okay, it's time. Um, normally I would do this with my friends, but because a lot of my friends are graduated because I'm a sixth year, I'm gonna be doing it with myself. <laughs> finished that rat test and I got five out of five. They're also giving out bonus marks to anyone who adds to like the forums every week and I think I need to do it like four times this term. I've just written one up about McDonald's and added it in. Now I have to go look at my personal assignment which is due on the 15th of March. <laughs> cheeseburger, mac chicken. I'm gonna get another large fries. I really want a sausage and egg McMuffin but they don't serve it after 10 a.m. Uh, mm -hmm. Should I get a fish filet or should I get a chicken burger? You get both if you're hungry. Mm, I'm not that hungry. I'm gonna just get grilled. grilled Do you want two? Chicken. Do you want nuggets? Yeah, nuggets. Yeah. I'll go pick it up. And then... um, Exciting event tonight for Demologica and I am all dressed up. I've worn this outfit, I swear, like so many times, but you know what? I think it's cute and I got my little heels on as well. I'm a bit sick, so don't mind how my voice sounds, but we went to go celebrate the launch of a new product with Demologica and this was such a cute little dinner. They had like a panel, meals, and it was so fun. I am just getting my life together before tomorrow and I thought I'd just talk to you guys about a few study tips and also how I manage stress, how I manage burnout. I'm somebody who has dealt with all of those things before and it's like really stressful. You have to avoid burnout at all costs. Like once you burn out, like that is just like, 
like a spiraling effect like you cannot get out of that easily my main tip for burnout is make sure you have good routines in place a morning routine and night routine because the rest of the day is going to be you doing a bunch of things whether it be you're working you have extracurriculars you have uni itself as a full-time student like whatever it is like you have so many things going on you need a moment just for you so that is why now that i have a morning and night routine i've been avoiding burnout like so much better yeah you just need to have that moment for yourself and i mean like truly for yourself like i used to not enjoy like sitting down like doing my little night routine or morning routine but like now i'm like no like if I don't do my night routine before I sleep, like, I can't sleep. Like, I have to do it. It's definitely, like, a shift in, like, mentality. And it's also, like, a shift in, like, structure of your day and routine. But, like, once you have it in place, you will feel so much better. And you also won't be as, like, stressed out. That's also, like, a way to reduce stress is to have your routines in place. So, at least, like, every single day, like, before and after you do, like, your work, your study, um, and whatever else you have going on in your life, at least you know you have, like, something for you in terms of productivity and study i have a lot of things going on at the same time in my life and what i've noticed helps me when i study is setting like particular times that really work for me and i have to stick with them for example like i know i'm not going to get my work done if i don't feel like the pressure of like going to class so like i use that pressure i'll spend the entire like day preparing for that class and also going over the lecture things so automatically i'm spending all of that time doing study doing the lecture doing the notes for that class which ultimately is just like study in itself and so that's kind of how I look at it and think about it and I'll just like do it on the same day that I have classes and that way I have more time outside of that to do like whatever else I need to and if I need to like allocate more study time I can but because I've done like what six to eight hours of study already like that's like a lot i feel like it's about working smarter not harder and being more effective and i think also like if you have friends in your course like share notes like help each other because honestly like two reigns are better than one and i'm really grateful for my friends who have like helped me with like notes and like sending me like their resources because honestly it's like helped me so much also i don't know why i'm putting on more sunscreen i think i'm just like rambling in the sunscreen's just going on. Anyways, more sunscreen never hurt anybody. I just want to remind you guys that productivity does not equal, like, length of time. Like, it's literally about efficiency and maximizing, like, the time that you do have so that, yeah, you have more time left over and you don't have to stress as much. Yeah, once I realized that and that, like, really clicked in my head, I realized, like, I don't have to be doing something, like, every moment of the day. I definitely think once you find a way to work efficiently, like, you'll have better life balance, which will, like, become like full circle like you'll be happier you'll be more productive you'll actually feel like mentally okay and therefore you're not gonna burn out and as much as burnout sometimes is inevitable i think there's ways to prevent it hence why I like the routine hence why looking after yourself like putting yourself first that is how you actually get good grades guys like you need to prioritize yourself first have good routines in place so that like the rest of your life is like lined up you feel great and then that's when you can work most effectively, be the most productive, and then get the best grades. Some things that really help me keep organized is my Notion. Like, I love my Notion. It's just, like, so beautiful. Like, this is what my Notion looks like. It's so cute and, like, adorable. My camera battery literally died on me, but now I'm charged again. So, yeah. I've got all of, like, my Notion things here. You just need a way that you keep organized. So, like, Notion's one way that I love. And then the other way is, like, a diary. I have my physical diary with me. And this has my whole life in it. It's like a mental journal for me. Like, this is literally, I called it Brittany's Plan 2024. It helps me keep really organized and also just, like, document what I need to do on a day-to-day. -day, my thoughts. Because it's really healthy to write down, like, things that are going on in your mind. Main thing is find a method that works for you, whether that be digital digital whether that be physical and that way you guys like actually can keep organized being organized is a huge part of being more productive so definitely prioritize that and get that together once you do you're gonna find that like a lot of things in your life will like fall into place i actually went to go pick up something really special i'm building my dream home library and this is gonna be a whole separate video so i'm not gonna include like setting it up and everything because that and the process of getting this bookshelf was a whole mission in itself i cannot wait to share that video with you guys but i got a new bookshelf here's a little sneak peek and i'm officially in my book girl era guys okay booktube here i come 
Good morning guys, it's Sunday and I'm going to the bookstore and I'm also going to Dyson because I need to pick up some more sticky tabs for my books um, because I've run out of sticky tabs and I need the little ones so I can like mark my pages so let's head out. <laughs> store and I swear I went to like two actual bookstores and then two stores Kmart and Big W and they're kind of like big department stores that sell like a lot of things it's like a Target basically and they sell a lot of things I would have gone to Target too but like they didn't have a Target in the shopping centers I went to I did go a bit crazy and I'm gonna do like a proper book haul because right now I'm trying to collect books for my new bookshelf that I've just built I'm sorry if it's a bit noisy because the laundry is going off right now and I'm also cooking I have so so many books that I got and I can't wait to do a haul. My Amazon order also came the other day, so I'm so excited. Oof. This is the entire of Sarah J. Mass's Throne Glass Throne series. I'm so excited to read this because I've been reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. Holy crap. I'm so excited to do this book haul. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I will be keeping you guys posted on this book journey. I literally have this entire bookshelf to fill up, so yeah, this is what I have currently. These ones are more of my, like, I guess, serious books. I used to think I was a serious book girl, and now I'm like, no, I don't really like those books. I like fiction like I was denying it for a bit and then I was like wait I actually am a fiction girly like why wouldn't I be we do have this entire bookshelf to fill so I'm gonna do it slowly though so just like start off with like series that I'm reading and then one by one like build each section this is one hell of a Sarah J Mass collection I have like two of these books I'm not sure why and also one of them's a bit faded I'm like did I leave it in the sun for too long I just made some soybean paste stew for lunch and Wait, no, pasta? no pasta no but there's rice mm. Hey guys, it's the next day and I had a tennis session the other day and it was so fun. I started doing hobbies this year by the way and the two things that I officially started like a couple weeks ago now is golf and tennis. I played tennis when I was younger but like I'm no good at it. I just want to like learn so I can play like for fun. And then golf because it looks fun and it's honestly like love and hate. That's how I feel when I play it, so yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> oh, I'm also really into books right now, like, these are literally some books that I got. Oh, oh, yeah, you guys can probably tell, like, I'm so into reading right now based off my last few vlogs, and you're probably gonna see based on my upcoming vlogs because, oh boy, do I have a book addiction. And it's all because of that one book I read, Fourth Wing, and now I'm just, like, spiraled, and I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm probably gonna start making book vlogs and, like, be on booktube because I love books so much and I just feel like it's integrated itself into my life somewhat deeply now and I'm making a whole video on my dream home library which I'm gonna be uploading hopefully soon don't hold me to it I'm just trying to like fill up my bookshelf first before I finish off the video but I don't want to like you know rush to buying books because um there's a lot of shelves to fill so I'm really, really excited though about it and yeah, I'm making a whole video, so that'll come out soon. I just showed you guys like the tiniest little sneak peek. There's such a funny story behind it and yeah. Anyways, I have a giant bookshelf outside now, which is crazy. Oh my god, I don't have enough books, so apparently you need a thousand books to make a library. And I definitely have nowhere near a thousand books, but I will one of these days. I guess that's just a random hobby update and I was actually coming on to tell you guys that I'm going to the Cook Islands in a few days and I need to pack my bags because I'm going somewhere and this is so exciting. It's an island that's like right under Hawaii and I've never been here before but the water looks like so blue and I'm gonna be vlogging that week so I won't be going to uni that week. Um, I'm skipping that week and then we'll have like the week after that I go to uni. Yeah, so I need to pack my bags 
and get some summer clothes and stuff sorted for that. It's going to be a really fun trip. I'm vlogging everything. I'll show you guys what I get up to. And I will upload this on time, guys. I'm not in my slump anymore, so you'll get the video, like, after this vlog. I need to go get my luggage and bring it over. Okay, this is the luggage that I'm going to be bringing with me. And this is the one that I bring with me everywhere. I bought this in Japan, like a year and a bit ago and it was to bring back all of the other random stuff that i bought in japan but i've been using this as like my official luggage ever since because it's just such a good luggage and i love it but yeah i gotta pack this bag and i probably won't film me packing because i'm just a bit crazy when i pack and a bit chaotic but yeah keep an eye out for this trip i'm super excited but before i forget this is the bookshelf in all its glory i don't want to show like it too much because i do have a specific video that i'm filming which is the dream library and me putting it together which is honestly like the craziest thing ever like this shelf right here is like three point something meters long like it's huge it's not like an average size one and you guys won't even believe how i found this before i go let me show you the kitty cats because nori's sleeping so peacefully right now on the tree Nori. I think she's like in deep sleep right now because her eyes are like rolling. Oh honey, you tired. My hair's crazy, I gotta pack, so I'm gonna go now. But thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll probably be in the Cook Islands, so keep an eye out. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. You wanna go on holiday? You guys wanna come on holiday with us? They're like, we're coming too. Okay, I'm packing my luggage, guys, because I'm heading off.